WRTV Streaming News is sponsored by Tom Wood Group. From Indy's Streaming News Leader, this is a WRTV update. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Mullins with a look at your top stories. An Indianapolis teenager is recovering in the hospital after she was shot. It happened at a shell station on Rockville Road on Indy's west side. Taylor Robinson was shot in the head on Sunday while sitting in her car. The 17 year old has undergone multiple surgeries and has lost hearing in one of her ears. Last year, eight people were shot and killed at Indianapolis gas stations. Her mom says the shooting is impacting her entire family. It is very traumatizing. I have two children that have been shot at a gas station. My kids are petrified. We're scared. We're scared to leave the house. We're scared of gas stations. I won't even pull up to a gas station if it's more than two cars there. Police say the shooting remains under investigation at this time. If you know anything about this shooting, call police or Crime Stoppers. Indiana National Guardsmen will be headed to the southern border soon. The deployment comes as an order from Governor Eric Holcomb to help the Texas National Guard. 50 service members will begin the mobilization immediately and arrive on the border by mid-March. State officials say their deployment will last 10 months. Previously, 300 National Guardsmen and women served on the southern border between October of 2020 and October of 2023. All right, as we go forward here throughout the afternoon hours, a little more in the way of sunshine compared to what we saw this morning and temperatures that will be well above normal will be topping off in the low to mid 60s across the area. Now late this evening and overnight, and there will be the chance of a few showers and maybe even a few thunderstorms. Don't be shocked, especially in southern locations. If you hear a rumble, a thunder or two have a quick downpour. But the good news is most of that rains while you're sleeping. I would say after seven, eight o'clock tomorrow morning we will be in the clear for rain. Still quite a bit of cloud cover around those throughout the day tomorrow and it's a transition to cooler temperatures. We're still in the 50s tomorrow, but eventually by Sunday we're into the 40s and by Monday we could be talking about a rain and snow mixture.